What is up, guys? We're back for another Dokkan Battle video. So, okay. So, I was looking through, you know, my YouTube, looking through the videos and stuff, checking some things out. And, uh, I realized that I never fucking recorded the Gogeta boss fight. The Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta boss fight. Or the physical Omega Shenron boss fight. Why did y'all tell me? I, I felt that was kind of a big thing to not record. Yo, August was so busy for the boy, okay? Uh, between getting LR Goku, finishing up all the Super Strikes, preparing my LR Androids, almost getting them, I had so much shit that I was doing. There we go. LR Trunksu. So, I am now going to get back on track. We're going to go ahead and record the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta event. This will be the squad we're going to bring. Hang on, let me actually... Uh, just in case, we you know, our crits aren't getting, uh, activated too often. Let's bring an Icarus instead of a Ghost Usher. So, here's the squad we're gonna be bringing, right? Now, this is overkill because we're all supports. You know what? Let me just jump in, and then I'll, I'll kind of go over the team more in depth once we actually begin the fight, and I can kind of, like, go through the rotations I want to set and all that. Now, I am well aware that... Four supports is a little bit overkill, but specifically for a team like this, right, where all of our damage is going to be coming from, you know, LR Trunks and Super Saiyan 3 Go Tanks, just maximize... Oh, that is the worst. Fuck, bro. Come on. Here's the thing, right? Go Tanks on this physical team can actually get his 11 key super. He's never able to on a fusion team. But of course, we got key on Go Tanks killing us. But it's worth it to go down the key path because any key we would have gotten for LR Trunks would have been absolutely godly. Looks like we did get one key for my LR Trunks, which is good since obviously mine has that level 20 additional. Okay, so, uh, let me go over my team real quick. Now, one of the problems with this, with running four supports, is that I'm actually going to have a support unit on main rotation, which is not completely necessary. I am missing the Juggernaut himself, Vegito Blue. I do not have him on JP. If I did, of course, I would use him. I probably would bring him in over Pan. My Pan is nice. She is SA-10. You know, she does give the 30% to attack and defense, which is awesome. But specifically for this physical team, I prioritize key more, you know, obviously for LR Trunks. Because we want LR Trunks to get that 18 key super. That is the dream. Allow the man to, you know, get those crits all day, every day. So, the other, basically it would be between the Pan and then the Super Saiyan 3 GT uh, Kid Goku right here. But he actually does give key and attack. He doesn't give defense, but I prioritize that key over the defense, actually. Because LR Trunks is already going to be tanking quite nicely for us. But we do want that little extra key to help him get those 18 key supers. Uh, my rotations are probably going to consist of an LR Trunks and a Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks. And then an LR Trunks and the support Gohan. We actually are on track to do that. So that's pretty good. Um, this is a beautiful first rotation here we got a max key super attack right off the bat uh we'll go ahead and seal the goku just in case he's not killed now we're about to see exactly how great lr trunks's defense is here because i don't yeah oh 15 000. okay I, I didn't think it would take very much there but he did take a little bit of damage that's okay though if he gets a crit this is probably going to be done in one attack here get that crit oh trunks get the additional no wow okay some bad RNG luck right off the bat. But at the very least, we did seal him so we don't have to worry about getting supered, right? Now, for the most part on JP Dokkan, sealing and stunning is not of that big value to you anymore. Because a lot of these boss events, like once you get to the later stages, they are immune. Perfect example, Super Saiyan 3 Broly, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, or Omega Shenron here. Now, specifically, when talking about Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta here... There is actually a difference, believe it or not, between the Japanese version of this boss fight and the global version. Ooh, girl! We got that 11 key super, though! Oh, shit! Yeah, Goku, come on. Goku, stop playing with me. Trunks, get your money back right now. Get that... What? Fam! 
Damn, what? <laughs> Trunks, my boy, you gotta be getting these crits. Oh, all right, well, anyway. So, when we get the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta himself, as you guys should probably know by now, the wow, we're getting torn up because Trunks is refusing the crit. This is like the worst case scenario here. If Trunks would just fucking crit, like, li Trunks literally could one-shot this Goku. But if he never crits, you know, we're going to have trouble here. Uh, remember, my Trunks does have a little in his crit as well. So not only can he crit from his passive, but he could also crit from his, uh, you know, dupe system potential as well. So the battle flow of this fight goes the Strength Super Saiyan 4 Goku we fought. Then we fight the Agility Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta and also the Strength Super Saiyan 4 Goku again. And then Phase 3 and Phase 4 is Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. Now, on Global, you cannot stun Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, but you can seal him, right? On JP, you cannot stun or seal him. He's actually a tougher fight here on JP. So, um, hmm... I am actually gonna heal right here. Yeah, I am. I am. Nothing nothing we could do without getting the crits against that Goku in the first phase. Uh, shit was just not looking too good for us. So we're gonna save the blues for Trunks. Mm -hmm. If Trunks gets a crit, I think Super Saiyan 4 Goku should die. So we'll go ahead and we'll go for... We're gonna go for Vegeta with our Gotenks. Then Trunksu can go ahead and pop Goku. You know, another thing I could have done as well is I could have given, like, a little key-up item. Like, maybe I could have brought the Fruit of the Tree of Might rather than, like, uh, the second heal. I don't think we'll need two heals. Uh, the Ghost Susher could come in clutch. We, I think we probably will need an Icarus uh, during, you know, maybe during the first phase of... Yeah, we got the crit. Beautiful, so he's done. Uh, you know, maybe during that first stage of Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, because remember, uh, Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks, like, he does get a defense minus, is it 60%? No, it's 30%, right? Let me just confirm this. Uh, Gotenks does lower his defense by 30%, yes, for the first seven turns. So, that is, um, like a real factor here. Here, let's do these greens, and then we'll probably give Trunksu the perps. Uh, that's five, that's three, six. Okay, so we'll do that. That will get more key. And this should be it for Tadungsu's, uh, Tosa here. Goodbye, father. Also, this Gohan, like, if you can get your hands on these specialized supports, like, they really are so good. Like, three key and then 40% to attack and defense is so godly. Such a huge advantage. Um, again, if I had Vegito Blue... I will be running a Trunks and Gotenks rotation, and then Vegito Blue and also uh, Trunks. And also, I should mention that neither of the LR Trunkses we have here are SA-20. Mine is only down at SA-12. I'm thinking that I'm probably going to prioritize uh, the Strength Ultimate Gohan. I'm going to prioritize his super attack level, maybe over LR Trunks. Now, the reason I'm going to do that is because, like, I'm trying to look out for, you know, other people who are playing this game, right? So, what would benefit me personally more would be giving all of my Elder Kais... Uh, that's they're both five. Would be giving all of my Elder Kais to LR Trunks, right? Because he hits harder than the SDR Ultimate Gohan. But, uh, you know, the other players who are playing the game, like, my Gohan will be popping up in their friends list. And I really would like to help them out to make sure my, uh, you know, SCR Gohan is at Super Attack 10. Because this friend system is a nightmare. And I most definitely do not want to contribute to it in any way. This is hitting our trunks, right? Yeah, so this shouldn't do very much. Yeah, 31,000 is good. That's with an Icarus active plus also with Trunks' you know, just naturally ridiculously high defense from his LR status. Along with him increasing it from the Super Attack. Uh, we're going to be looking pretty good here. As long as we can get another crit with Trunksu, I think we're going to be uh, just steamrolling this next turn as well. Oh, yeah, because I, I do really like this. We have the support Gohan linked up with my Trunks, which is perfect. Uh, I will do those greens right there. Maybe the... No, okay. I was hoping that that physical would drop, but it did not. That will still get us the 18 key super, though. Uh, we don't need to heal or anything because the Icarus is active. 
Now, one thing I'll say is Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta is definitely no slouch here. Like, this is a tough fight. I'll say this will remain the toughest fight on Global also for a good couple months here. Like, both the Omega Shenron uh, boss fight and this Gogeta boss fight are going to be way harder than, like, any of the other events that are coming out. You know, Int Gogeta, Strange Janemba, Super Saiyan 3 Broly, you know, Super 17, all of those events. Hmm. Um. Oh, look at that key. Oh, no. Oh, fuck. Hmm. Okay. We are... That is really not great. So we're going to have to leave with Gotenks. Gotenks should take him out here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to heal here. I'm going to heal. Because Gogeta does hit pretty hard. That's the one problem, I would say, with the, uh, obviously, the super physical team. Is it's not ultra tanky like extreme physical is. Especially if, like, you don't have Vegito Blue. Now, Vegito Blue, obviously does need a little bit of help you know you do want some dupes if you're really going to rely on him for defense uh obviously units like pan maybe the new super saiyan 2 gohan uh rebirth that he got units like those will be very good in helping vegeto blue tank but without vegeto blue and some other things uh you can get hit very hard so you do have to use items here or there which that's like you know i'd love to just steamroll the event with no items which I could do with my fusion team, but it's like, fam, like, come on now. Like, e everyone and their mommy is using a fusion team right now. Let's try and do so. Let's do something different. Let's do this LR Trunks team, right? Now, here is where Bardock 2 is not going to contribute anything, just except for his passive, because he's only SA1, so he's not going to do a lot of damage. He can't seal Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. We got the crit, fam. And the additional, no, 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 fuck me, right? 20 additionals. We can't get one throughout the entire... Have we gotten one? We haven't gotten one, have we? I don't think so. F just, just fuck me, fam. A additionals? What are those? I never heard of additionals before. That's not a real thing. All right. Well, at the very least, we are going to get a 12 key super. You know what? Your boy just has to pop an Icarus right here. What's got to be done has got to be done. Although, I will say this. Um, I do believe... Yeah, it looks like Gotenks passive has worn off. So he doesn't, he's no longer a defensive liability at that point. Uh, that's good. That's good. Let me do this. I want to try and link those uh, three physical orbs together. Now, Gogeta, if he would want to super attack Trunksu here. Yes, no, maybe. Nope, not. He said, fuck you. I'm going to super whoever I want. Uh, now, this Trunks actually did not look at what his dupe system buffs were. L I, I doubt he has uh, a dupe here. Oh, we got the additional with Gotenks, though. Nice, nice, nice. Now, of course, remember, Gotenks does give himself uh, quite a big buff, even when he supers at with his 12-key super. And that attack will stack, so when he gets the additional, that will really help him a lot. This is going to hurt, because he's hitting the one unit here who has really, really low defense, even with an Icarus. Yeah, 83 foul. Hmm. Mm. All right, tell you what. I think we're going to use one more item where we're going to pop this Senzu, and we should be good for the rest of the fight. Uh, Gohan's super is not important. All that's important is getting Trunksu as much key as possible. And we are probably going to get a Dokkan attack next turn? No, this turn. Okay, so this will be the finishing blow. Well, hey, good thing Gohan is not getting a super attack here. So Trunksu can get the finishing blow. As long as this man crits. Fam, don't let me down, Trunks. I, I, I've been, I've been slurping this Trunks heavy. Talking about how great that crit is, that 50% chance of crit, boy. Don't, don't you, Trunks. Don't you let me down. This, oh, with the additional, the oh, and this Trunks, man, this was a bad showcase for him during this fight. This man getting crits on normal. Hits? What? Trunks. Stop. You know what? I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. When we run through the Omega Shenron team, we're definitely not... When we run through the Omega Shenron boss event, we're definitely not using this physical Trunks team. Trunks is a motherfucking timeout. All right? All right, fam? No no crits for me. All fight, huh? All right, Trunks. I'm banishing your ass. Oh, now we get the crit when it doesn't matter. 
Trunk Shu, I appreciate that so much, fam. Uh, by the way, so here on JP, the uh, Gogeta event and the new uh, Omega Shenron event, they are actually on rotation already. I'm going to have to confirm on if they are on global as well. I They should be, but hopefully that's not another, you know, mark in Bandai's ledger that they're being so disrespectful to global. But whatever, I digress. Thanks for watching. Y'all have a good one. And this man, Trunks, is in time out. Trunks, the crits, my boy. What the fuck are you doing?